Good morning. So I suppose that today's message is somewhat inspired by everything that's happening in Afghanistan and just that it's a, a tribal um, culture and that there's a lot of different factions and, and all kinds of different stuff. And it's just really, really sad to see so many things that have happened there recently. We don't have to look far to see all sorts of examples of, of things where people just don't get along with one another. Philip Yancey, who's one of my favorite authors, tells the story that when he was a young person, uh, it's probably back in the 60s, that there was an African American who wanted to become a member of his church, but was rejected as a member because of the color of his skin. And that person is Tony Evans, which if you're familiar, he's a very well-known uh, pastor, author, I've read stuff by him, I enjoy his preaching, I uh, find it challenging. He's a great preacher. Uh, I had a chance to hear Tony Evans speak on one occasion. It was in Atlanta at Promise Keepers at the, uh, I think it was the Georgia Dome. Uh, me and about 60,000 of my closest friends. But I still remember the basic outline. And he talked about, and it was the kind of message that for me put a lot of things of human history into perspective and even what God's trying to accomplish. So you go back to the Tower of Babel, which is kind of a weird story, but that's where the different languages come in and competition and people not getting along. I mean, that goes back to the Garden of Eden. You've got, you've got Cain and Abel. You've got problems there. But now you've got all these people on planet Earth. They speak different languages and they're competing against each other. There's times they get along. There's things like the Olympics and then there's things like wars. And there's always been wars, wars and wars and wars. And then there's Pentecost, which already existed, but it was the, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I'm going to go to the Father and then I'm going to give you my spirit. And I think what's lost on a lot of us is that that was the day that God was bringing the nations back together. Because all these people started speaking in languages that they didn't even understand, but other foreign people there did understand, and they were hearing the message of God's mercy and grace and truth of the new covenant. That's what was coming out. But sometimes we focus so much on the miracle, it's a miracle, it's a miracle, we miss the point. The point was God was bringing people back together. And then I love to fast forward to Revelation chapter 7. This is a scene that the, the Apostle John sees in heaven. He says, after this, I saw a vast crowd, too great to count. It's right after the thing about the 144,000. I'll just say this. There's this thing here that talks about 144,000 people in heaven. And anybody who believes it's a literal 144,000 is usually numbered one of them, and you're not. Just think about that one for a moment. No, this says that he saw a vast crowd, too great to count. So there, you know, simple translation, there's going to be a lot of people in heaven, okay? from every nation and tribe and people and language, standing in front of the throne and before the Lamb. They were clothed in white robes and held palm branches in their hands, and they were shouting with one great roar, salvation comes from our God who sits on the throne and from the Lamb. What's that saying? It's saying that God is bringing us back together. God is raising us up above the differences we might have. And what is causing it is Jesus. It's the gospel. It's the message that's been entrusted to us. And I want to share one final verse from Revelation chapter 22. Ch chapter 22, verse 2. It's the final, final chapter of the Bible, and it talks about, about the throne of God. It talks about the Lamb. Basically, it's talking about heaven in, in rough paraphrase. But listen to what it says here. It said it flowed um, down the center of the main street, that there was this crystal stream that flowed down the center of the main street. On each side of the river grew a tree of life, bearing 12 crops of fruit with a fresh, fresh crop each month. That's a miracle. The leaves were used for medicine to heal the nations. Folks, when we see the kinds of things that are happening on planet Earth today, and there is so much where so many people, so many lives are at risk, and so much conflict from nation to nation, one day God's going to raise us up above that. And then in heaven, there is going to be progressive healing for the people of God. People are hurt. People are wounded. And it says in the previous chapter that God will wipe away every tear and then there'll be no more. Let this be your hope today, that God sees the big picture, that, he is, that the, the kingdom of God is the most inclusive entity on planet earth. Jesus died for everyone. God bless you. Have a great day.